All right, Keith, buddy. This is a board that um, is very similar to the 6.8 that I was riding, um, except here, at, down here, you can tell it's a 7.10. Um, notice the nose is uh, somewhat pointy, but not crazy sharp. Uh, it's somewhat pointy, so you can uh, do some duck diving. Um, the uh, slices, this is right here, is the back slice. It has a bit of a uh, double has a complete double concave and then it sort of um, gets gradual and the idea behind that and then it gradualizes out but the idea behind the double concave on the tail is that somewhere about right here there would be a single fin that comes down right here right and so as you're turning you've got a single fin right here on the board but then you have this really crazy edge so as you're turning you've got some you've got an edge right there or if you're turning here you got an edge right there um, and guys in the surfboard world are really crazy about concaves and so this board I thought would be a, a really cool because it's 710 it would be something you can paddle um, with the outline I went with you'll notice it says 23 and 3 8 I went just like super super fat on the on the outline um, so it's a really wide board which should make it really um, it should make it an easy paddle. Um, when it comes to the width or the thickness, I made this board four inches thick, so it's crazy, crazy buoyant. Um, I guarantee you that uh, that was crazy buoyant. Um, I brought the tail down a little bit so that water would flow over the back um, for tur in turns. Um, I've, I, I've made it as buoyant as possible. Um, I'm really excited. The, the bottom rocker, is there's hardly any rocker there, so this is not the kind of board that you're going to pop over a wave. Um, indeed, you're, you're going to do some duck diving, um, but that's kind of what you want. Um, here is the bay, and this is um, where you get a, a bit of a view of the board um, from what it would look like. Here's You can see under there, you can kind of see the double concave in the tail where these, these lines uh, line up there. Um, that's kind of what the board looks like from that vantage point. Um, Wireframe. I don't know if you can see much there, but um, overall, I'm I'm shooting for a board that can be taken out in um, small surf, but also be taken out in some larger surf. Um, when it comes to rails. On the back, they look like this, but as you get further up here, these are what you call like 60-40 or 70-30, where like 30% of the rail is right there, and then 70% of the rail is right there. Um, and that rail follows all the way up to the front. Um, these are, uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, get a nice hard edge right there. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else that uh, I can tell you about this shape, but... Man, I'm I'm really excited about trying to make like a mid-sized fun board that can be um, used in small surf and and big surf, sort of a a bit of a hybrid. Um, you'll notice that this is really low on the rocker, but yeah. So, anyways, that's that. Hope you uh, hope you had a good time surfing today, and uh, let me know what you think about this. I'm curious.